This podcast is part of the Pull Up a Chair podcast network. Let's build community through connection, conversation, and collaboration. Cringe With Me brings you all the best cringy, funny, and relatable content you could ask for. From the best of Reddit to the most outrageous advice columns, Ryan and V have a grand story to tell you. Check us out every Wednesday, your favorite podcast directory, and by the end, you'll cringe with me. You just I'm, start the podcast. I'm, point, I'm pointing at you. I don't start the podcast. You start the podcast. I can start talking about the things after you start the podcast. Well, it started. I'm, I'm leaving that <sighs> okay, in. Okay, apparently I'm starting the podcast today. Hello, everyone. Um, I mean, you know what we're about. It's going to be some cringy content today, we hope. Um, for uh, this is their last episode for February, which means at the beginning of next week's episode, we're going to be reviewing to see who had the cringiest content of February. So, uh, look out for that. We'll announce it at the beginning of next week's episode, and uh, we'll see, hopefully, get another vote uh, to see what you all think is the cringiest. And we'll discuss our opinions too, of course. <laughs> So, uh, today it's on me again. Uh-huh. Um, I, uh, I've gone back to my Am I the Asshole roots, uh, on another one of my favorite subreddits. Um, this Am I the Asshole is titled, Am I the Asshole for Refusing to Fire My Personal Trainer Per His Wife's Request? Good God, what? Yeah, yeah, it's that good. It's that good. Um, so... I'll begin reading. Uh, this is a throwaway because I don't want this on my main. It's the first sentence. So uh, Whenever somebody says, this is a throwaway, like, I'm like, mm, okay, okay, this okay. is going to be tasty. Yeah. So I, parentheses, 43-year-old female, hired my trainer, Alex, parentheses, fake name, don't add Alex, uh, <laughs> in mid-2018 through the gym. I asked for someone who understands chronic pain because I've had it for 20 years and need help managing it. Swimming did wonders until my body began to develop negative reactions to pool chemicals, which is why I switched to the gym. Long story short, Alex helped beyond expectation. He helped me improve so much. Uh, A few months ago, my doctor actually switched me to milder pain medication and lowered the doses too. Thanks. So, as a token of appreciation, I gave Alex an early Christmas card last week with a $50 gift card. Uh, The message was simple. Thank you for your help. Best wishes. Today, I went for solo training, and a woman approached me claiming to be Alex's wife. She accused me of getting friendly with Alex and demanded that I ask the gym to switch trainers. I refused, and she got aggressive, so I got the staff involved, and they removed her. Later, I told my friends about the incident, and they said I was disrespectful and should have honored her wishes. Wait, what? Though I don't think Alex's wife's insecurity is my problem, I feel bad about possibly getting him into trouble at home. Am I the asshole? Absolutely not. Okay, so again, that was my reaction. Was like, you sent them a Christmas gift with a fifty dollars gift card and said, "Thank you for your help. Best wishes." There's nothing even hinting at innuendo there. Well, also, no like, way that can be a gift card is the most unpersonal gift you can give a person. Yeah, just about right. Yeah, agreed. Also, like, I mean, we don't we don't know all the details, but like, this is like. Personal training through a gym, right? This isn't like someone's coming to your house and you're having these one-on-one sessions in the privacy of your home. You're literally at a gym where there are other people. That's a good point. Yeah. Like this is not, there's not something weird and infidelitous going on if that's the the situation you're in. I I mean, does the wife think they're they're just banging over the treadmill? I mean, maybe in front of everyone. Yeah. Full glory. I mean, it's a workout. (laughs) Oh, no. But uh, no, it's just interesting, right? Like that... I, mean, I agree. I don't think that the wife's insecurity is this person's problem. Uh, however, there is a question like, someone comes to you with this. Do you say, "Wow, I, I would you would you acquiesce to that request, or would you say, "No, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that." Well, first, I'd laugh at him because I think that they were joking. Because that's how I respond to that's stuff. Fair. That's fair. Um, and then I would recommend that she go see a counselor. Because obviously there's some problems in the relationship. Yeah, you know, that's always a good first step is telling someone to go to therapy. 
I found well, it really successful. Well, no, for just me. like the, depending on how you phrase it, it's like, hey, I see that you're hurting. That sucks. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, you're hurting. Mm-hmm. So, let's let, let's find you some solutions because you you need something. I'm still gonna professionally see your husband in a professional setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I get that. I can see that working. I mean, like I, I think that there is a, a an opening for. Um, human understanding and compassion here right yeah Yeah. having a conversation being like wow i'm really sorry like that this is stressing you out but like also i can guarantee you our relationship is purely platonic and professional there's nothing else going on i would never do anything like that you know whatever explanation you want to have um it gets interesting oh this is not this is the end of the post originally oh i love that i love me a good update uh a number of people uh because one of the things that i thought of when i read this i'm like huh interesting question are we positive this is alex's wife like do we know like there's no top mention of alex confirming that his wife even did this right so i'm like huh this is kind of suspicious because wouldn't alex like have some communication about this like come like hey like wow i can't believe my wife did this whatever like right anything so the the response people had that similar thought of like are we sure this is alex's wife so there's an uh edit right uh an added thing mine freaking blown many of you mentioned the possibility of a stalker imposter and now i'm getting chills never even thought of that i'll give the gym a call first because if it is a stalker imposter then she might harass other people too since i don't have alex's private number i'll ask the gym to give him a heads up then i'll talk to him when i see him next week so adding to the this you are not the asshole she doesn't even have this person's number there's no way to communicate with them the rug out from under me yeah doesn't even want to communicate with him outside of through the gym, right? And yet this this woman is appearing, and I'm like, what if this is someone who's like just maybe not even his wife, maybe this is someone who's just obsessed with Alex and is like anytime they see Alex working with a, a new woman, they're like, Hey, what the hell are you doing? Like, what's going on here? Well, Although, how would she know about the card if she wasn't his wife? Okay. So that's a good point. We but uh we don't know that she knows about the card. That's not actually included in here. It, it just says that uh, uh, she accused me of getting friendly with Alex and demanded that I ask the gym to switch trainers. You're right. Nothing mentioned about the card, the note, nothing. Yeah. There's no details here about whether the card was mentioned or anything like that. Uh, but yeah. And then um, it's interesting because a lot of people are like, hey, like, this is not, a pro- this is totally appropriate. Professional services have done, like, this is a thing, right? People give service workers gifts all the time. If you're a regular at a coffee shop, it's not surprising to give someone an extra tip around Christmas. Or, like, um, people are talking about, yeah, like, you know, my my mom goes to casinos on Christmas Eve, and she always tips the valet, like, a bunch of money because it's Christmas Eve and they're having to work, right? Like, this is a common thing in the service industry. And, like, personal trainers are in the service industry. That is a type of service, right? Yeah. And so, like... It's this funny thing where it's like, uh, this is really normal and common in the service industry. Um, so it's like, why is this standing out, right? Uh, why is this wife threatened by this, uh, you know, 43-year-old woman with chronic pain who's going to a personal trainer for help and finding success and doesn't even have the person's personal number, right? It seems like we're on a, a bit of a stretch. Yeah, okay. So give me that update. Um, there, there. That's... That's, that's it. That's it is, is, she doesn't give she any doesn't more up know. after that. Nothing. No. But what if she died. What I'm if hoping. the woman killed her? Well, this is only from 16 hours ago. I found this one last night. Okay. So I was like, oh, yeah. pain, no. So I'm I'm actually hoping we could do a follow up on this one. Maybe oh, yes. you should be like, hey, by the way, I found out about the personal trainer woman, right? Like, okay. Like we know what happened. All right, um, guys, subscribe so you can hear the update. Yeah. Hopefully, we will have a follow up at some point with more information. This one's, I, this one's fresh. I think. I think the girl, the wife, potential wife, potential stalker killed OP. That's my prediction. Oh, I really hope that that's not what happened. Or I'm going to write fan fiction about it. So okay, <laughs> so yeah, bring it back to last week. You can write fan fiction. No, that wasn't it. last week. That was like two weeks ago. Was that two weeks ago? No, oh, you're right. It was two weeks ago. Two oh, weeks. Yeah. I'm losing track of time. You knew I was going to be a supernatural girl. You just didn't expect me to be a fan fiction girl. Um, actually, it was the opposite. I, I expected you to be a fan fiction girl. I didn't know you were a supernatural oh, super fan. Okay. Super fan? I'm calling you just, a super fan. Just a little bit. I would cry. I would cry if I met them in real life. It's not in everything. 
Well, uh, I think that is going to wrap us up for this week, probably. It's a shorter okay. one. But... Yeah, that's fine. And we'll see you guys next week for I also have a Reddit thing that I'm going to share. Oh, exciting. Yeah, this is going to be a Reddit heavy month, I think. I, last month, I, I brought in a couple um, advice columns. This month, I'm bringing in extra Reddit. And Ryan's always on Reddit. So. Yeah, I feel like Reddit's it's it's my go-to source. It is your go-to source. I need to start trolling the Ask Amy stuff a little more, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think Carolyn's just a little bit bitchier than Amy. Oh, I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, that genre. That genre. We'll, we'll see. We'll see you guys next month. Or next week. I'm tired. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Connect with us. Follow us on social media. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, at Cringe With Me. Everything is linked in the description of this podcast. Cringe With Me podcast is a production of Pull of the Chair Foundation. All opinions in this podcast belong to the host and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Pull of the Chair podcast network. I never want to get used to the sound you whispering in my ear. Hello, I am Patrick. And I'm Andrew. And I'm Christian. And I'm Allie. And we are Rad Theater, a podcast where a bunch of friends play role-playing games and share a single brain cell, and the GM doesn't always have it. Oh, and it's theater spelled the correct way, T-H-E-A-T-R-E. 